Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn factor by grouping. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. What is factor by grouping? To factor a trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c by grouping, we find two numbers with a product of ac and a sum of b. We use these numbers to divide the x term into the sum of two terms and factor each portion of the expression separately. Then factor out the GCF of the entire expression. Oh, a lot of words here. So I find, like everything, we learn by doing. So we're going to go in here, dive into an example, and use factor by grouping, and we can see how this applies. Okay? So let's go to example 3. We're given this, 5x squared plus 7x minus 6. And we want to factor this by grouping. So we have a trinomial. We have an a value of 5, a b value of 7, and a c value of negative 6. Okay? We first want to determine what a c is, a times c. So 5 times negative 6 is a negative 30. Then we need to find two numbers with the product, multiplying of negative 30, and the sum of b, which is 7. So we note b is 7. Okay, so what we're going to do, we have the negative 30, we're going to see what two numbers multiply to be negative 30 and write those factors out. So we have the factors of negative 30, make a table here, and we're going to have the sum of those factors, add them up. And as you get better, you'll be able to do this table essentially in your head, but it can't hurt just to write it down, right? So what two numbers multiply to be negative 30? Well, we have 1 and negative 30, negative 1 and positive 30, 2 and negative 15, negative 2 and positive 15, 3 and negative 10, and negative 3 and positive 10, okay? So, there's no other two numbers that mul multiply to be negative 30 here. Um, so, what we want to do is add them up. So, let's make a little line here. 1 plus negative 30 is a negative 29. We're finding the sums of them all. Negative 1 and 30 is a positive 29. 2 and negative 15 is a negative 13. Negative 2 and 15 is a positive 13. 3 and negative 10, negative 7. And negative 3 and positive 10 is a positive 7. And what do we want to have as our goal? What two numbers multiply to be negative 30 but add to be 7? Okay, and we have it right here. Negative 3 and positive 10. Negative 3 and positive 10 add to be positive 7, but they multiply to be negative 30. So our p value here is a negative 3, and the q value is a positive 10. Okay, so now we want to rewrite this initial expression as such. We have our 5x squared minus 3x, that p value, plus 10x, then we subtract the 6. Notice that this basically helped us set up our factoring here. This is the same expression as we were given from the beginning, 5x squared. We have negative 3x plus 10x, 7x. And negative 6 still comes here. And this table here helped us set up this expression. So now we're going to pull out the GCF of each kind of section here. We have a common x right here, as in both parts. And we're left with a 5x minus 3. And then here, we can pull out a 2. In both parts, we have 2. And we have a 5x minus 3. And now... We can pull out a 5x minus 3 from both terms here, both parts, and we have a 5x minus 3 times what's left is the x plus the 2 on the inside. And now we've actually factored by grouping. Our final answer is 5x minus 3 times x plus 2. So now you know how to factor by grouping. If this video helped you, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel. This helps us make more videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math.